Deep within a secluded forest stands a custom-built mansion, once the cherished home of a doomsday prepper. This is the doomsday part. What the? F I don't know what this is. Is he making bombs? In times, how close are we? Talk to the shepherd. Let us help you study for the final exam. A man named Bill, who achieved financial success as an entrepreneur, constructed this dream home in the 1970s alongside his wife Evelyn and their two exceptionally gifted children. Bill embraced his role as a provider, ensuring his family received the finest education, with both children graduating from esteemed Ivy League institutions. As a testament to his devotion, he adorned their lives with all manner of luxuries, including a custom pipe organ that graced the living room for his wife. However, beneath the visible basement lies a hidden subterranean chamber where Bill meticulously prepared for the prophesied apocalypse. Driven by his unwavering religious fervor, an avid conception of films centered on the revelations and the imminent return of the Messiah. Engaging with like-minded organizations, he would have deep discussions about faith and the impending end times. Tragically, in 2015, Bill passed away due to natural causes, leaving behind a void that would be mirrored by Evelyn's passing just five years later. Since then, the property has languished in abandonment, frozen in time with everything preserved within. So join me today and let's see what's left. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching now. This this pool is nasty. You can't even, you really can't even tell it's here. It's so overgrown. Don't even look like a pool. <laughs> Man, this would have been nice though. With this big house. This is the back side of the house, everyone. With the pool, you know, I kind of already showed you guys, but you'll see a little bit more. I'm gonna walk around to the front, but this is just the back side. As you can see, it's falling apart. The inside's full of stuff and we're gonna check around the property though because this guy was a doomsday prepper so we're gonna see if there's like some sort of bunker or something let's walk around a little bit this is the front of the house guys it's gonna be hard to fly the drone but we're gonna try it big old house i'm ready to take you guys inside this is gonna be one cool video so i'm excited to show you guys what's left uh, check out all my friends today down in the description. I'll link them. We got what's your channel? Gray X. Gray X. We got Chase over here, and we got uh, ATR back somewhere in the woods. Yeah, he just ran away. And Justin, of course, you guys know Justin. So, without further ado, let's go inside this beautiful mansion and let's see what's left. Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get right into it. It's no surprise that the man chose this area to build his family home and shelter for the apocalypse. It is completely hidden from the road on over 30 acres of forest. Let's take a look inside and see what else we can uncover. All right guys, so we just made it inside of the abandoned mansion. And as you can tell just by the little bit, it is full of stuff, abandoned in 2020. It feels like it's been abandoned a lot longer, but yeah. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys this. Shout out to uh, AT Urbex upstairs uh, for hooking us up with this and joining along. And uh, everybody else, uh, I'll leave them all down in the description. You'll see them throughout the video and stuff. I'm not gonna talk here too much. Let's see what's left in this place. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and let's go. All right, so I'm gonna start you guys out at the front door. As you can see, it's blocked off a little bit, so we're not gonna stay here much longer. I'm gonna show you guys this little uh, foyer when you walk in, it's not too much. But then we get to this huge living room and a lot of stuff is left in here and I can't wait to show you guys. So, so this is the front door. It is a large door, but there's this, uh, this mattress and stuff in front of it and all that. And there's two closets on each side. So right here, Looks like maybe this was the man's closet. Here's a leather jacket in here. 
pretty sweet stuff. Makes you wonder what else could be hidden in this place. Like when I say everything is left in here, that means everything was left. All the decorations, everything. And I want to show you guys something crazy over there. You guys can kind of see it a little bit. It's a big organ. Usually guys, I go through the entire house before I kind of start filming just to get an idea. But this one, you're going to get a raw reaction for most of it. The living room we've seen, the dining room, and the master bedroom. But the rest of it, I haven't even seen yet. So you guys are going to be just as surprised as I am for everything. Still in this like little entryway, we've got this nice glass shelving. Little knickknacks on it. I wonder what this was for. It's just made out of wood. And before I take you into this living room, you guys can see Justin in here. See how large it is and everything. It's got everything left in it. We're gonna go into the office. So there's multiple desks here. And this guy was an entrepreneur, as you guys know. He ran a lot of businesses, did a lot of stuff to make money. As you can see, lives in a mansion. When you have an office in your house like this, you know, you're doing something good for yourself in life. And there's everything still here. Yeah, the invasion. The Star of Bethlehem. They got two copies of the Star of Bethlehem. End times, how close are we? So this guy was a doomsday prepper, as you guys will see down in the basement. He was prepping for doomsday, but also, you know, ended up dying beforehand. So it's kind of a... Uh, Kind of crazy to see that in here. It makes it kind of more surreal. The coming climax of history, financial guidance. Like this guy was, this guy was getting ready for the world to end. Adam blamed Eve. Eve blamed the snake, and the snake didn't have a leg to stand on. Can't sleep. Don't count sheep. Talk to the shepherd. Let us help you study for the final exam. When the storm rages, sometimes the Lord calms the storm, but sometimes the Lord lets the storm rage and calms the child. Wow. I did not expect to find stuff like that. And you can only imagine what else is written in all this. Against all odds, Israel survives. Another against all odds. Looks like a bunch of copies of it. Lines of ins inspiration. The mind, money, music, nature, age of ice, death. This is all pretty deep stuff. In this advice divine law this is crazy so it makes you wonder what is all throughout this debt isn't immortal per se but taking on debt you have no intention to repaying is and doing so in the name of the state or the people may give you the political cover you need to explain why your recklessness you disguise it as concern for the good for the public good or for society but no, morally speaking when you sanction it you're contributing to the impoverishment of the company or the of the of your economy and the debasement of your own morality noah good thing when you see it in noah's ark noah did not start building the ark when it was raining like just seeing all this stuff about like doomsday crazy crazy to see it all the revelation the end of days pray and be rich this place was abandoned in 2020, so there's gonna be like these Starbucks things, which I actually love these. I drink these. I drank one this morning, actually. We don't really know what to expect that this guy has. So this is the first on the channel where we're seeing um, a person that was literally getting ready for the end of the world and uh, had all this stuff to get planned for it and down in the basement, all that stuff. We're gonna to try to stay down there as long as we can, but I don't have a mask and it is very, very, moldy and nasty down there but we're going to show you it anyways so i want you guys to see it so we're at this like little work table inside of the inside of the office here nothing much going on though you know you got stuff in the drawers like this is full of pencils
a lot more stuff we could go through, but we want to get on with this uh, tour of this house and see what else is left behind. We might even find stuff, even crazier stuff. Let's head out and let's go into the living room and let's see what's left in there. It's pretty crazy. So I'm ready to show you guys. All right, guys. Now we're entering the living room and check it out. Huge room, by the way. Big windows letting all the natural light in. There is like this metal stuff covering these windows, but the top ones are still open so we get all the natural light inside of this place. I'm gonna give you a view from this, this side. Check it out. Really comfortable stuff here. And since it's only been abandoned for a few years, it's still gonna be like comfortable feeling and not like hard. But you got a nice couch here, the coffee table, the two recliner, actually these aren't recliners, they're just rocking chairs. This is like the coolest thing in here. This is this freaking organ. Like that had to be built inside of the house. I can imagine like doomsday, they're like playing some scary music on this thing. <laughs> I bet it is worth a lot of money. They built it into the house. I think it's electronic. That's pretty sweet. This is so cool. Got another piano over here. This phone probably does work. But check it out. This living room is mint. What's up, Justin? Another one? Bruh, don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. Looks <laughs> like they tried to stop a leak. Didn't really do much. But got the nice fireplace. This is like something you'd see at like an office. Gas fireplace, not real burning wood. Nice fireplace either way. A lot of people move to gas fireplaces anyways. Here's your staircase. Not too fancy. I mean, this is more of like a cozy type home. This is what they got going on. Looks like we have a desk here. Where's there anything left in it? Just spider webs. That's all that's in there. Vintage oak is what it says inside though. I'm just excited to be able to show you guys something like this. And it's so big, it goes over there to another living space. I'll show you guys here soon. But this is what we got going on in here. Even got a nice chandelier hanging up. I'm glad that's still here. And it's not been taken down or anything. That's so crazy to find a doomsday prepper's house with all this stuff in it. It still feels very 70s in here, although it was abandoned just a few years ago. And that's Oregon, I just can't get over it. So wild. All right, now we're entering, this is like a breakfast area, I'm, I'm pretty sure, because it's right off of the kitchen. Kitchen is not too incredibly big. You got all these, okay, surely that's not the Frappuccino, <laughs> like all dried up in there. <laughs> uh, no, there's more, well, there's more in the cabinets. I'm like, that uh, can't be, right? No, because there's bottles of this stuff too. Looks like some sort of like. Reminds you of like, like hamster bedding. Hamster bedding? Looks like. Yeah, could be. Not, Cat litter. <laughs> <laughs> a little chandelier here. The wallpaper is like some flowers. So this is the kitchen, guys. All the cabinets are open and they're deep cabinets. Look how deep that thing goes. It's like, how do you get back there <laughs> for stuff? You would add to have, this has to slide out. Yeah, this slides out. So you can, if you have stuff back there, that's pretty cool, I've never seen that. That's a pretty neat feature. It's even deep back there too. How do they, how do they do this? I've never seen this in a kitchen before. Super neat though. You see all the silverware is left behind. Still rocking with the old stove though, the Gen Air. Mrs. Dash, they know what, they know about that good stuff. Old Bay. Yeah, they know about good cooking, but we are in the south, you know, everybody cooks good down here. Look at this little drawer. Like that opens up like that. Oh, these people are smart. Look at this. The hot sauce. This is this is like the mild sauce. 
in my glove box in my car. I keep a bunch of these because you can never you can never go wrong with some mild sauce from Taco Bell or some hot sauce, either or. If I wonder why they did it like this, I just have a bunch of jars of it. Check it out. This is the pantry. What is all that up there? It's all black. This place is wild. Pretty nice stuff. We got going on here. This is uh, got a double oven. So you're cooking big meals. Bunch of these Starbucks frappuccinos. They really liked it. Seems like at least the mother did. Thankfully there's no fridge, so we don't have to open that up. Cause you know, we open them in every video. If there is one and the last one that we opened was pretty nasty, but there's not one in this one. So right here is another part of the kitchen. As you can see, you can tell this is totally 70s because the way this is built, a lot of 70s homes were like this where the sink, you can see into like another living space and stuff like that. So you guys can see how it was built. Look at that spider in there. Ew, it's nasty. Moldy food, that's probably cereal or something. Ugh, gross. We're entering the secondary living room living space right now. We got a couch here. And this feels like really cozy. And Alex was even saying this earlier, like it's like a cozy house. Like it doesn't feel like a, I don't know. It doesn't feel like your typical like mansion, like where it's fancy and stuff. It's like cozy. It's out here tucked in the woods and everything. Got the shag carpet from the seventies. So nothing was really updated too much. And some of this furniture is still Still old. Check this out. <laughs> Wonder how long that's been there. It's one of those stick on ones. You also got a fridge over here. There's a fridge? Yes. Ah. Oh. I heard you say you didn't have one. Come on. Uh. <laughs> Alright. I guess. Smells wonderful in there. Some egg rolls or something. Oh my god, that's an oath. <laughs> you smelling it? Yeah, I smell it. That's kind of how it smelled downstairs earlier. <laughs> that's where all the doomsday stuff is too. All right, so now we're gonna walk right over here, and we're gonna see all of this stuff. So I wonder what was right here. It's like a musical note poster here. I want to give you guys a look, of like how we're in the woods right now. You guys can see. Out there, we are just tucked back here. Came and see the road. We have another couch here. It looks like somebody was sleeping on this couch because you got the blankets and a pillow and stuff. Somebody could have even been squatting in here. Who knows? We did see some people walking down the road earlier, so you never know. Usually, high traffic roads with houses like this typically have squatters. This is like a, I believe that's Venice, Italy, right there. I've never been there. Looks like they're really into stuff like in Europe. European things. And check it out guys, this place is not gonna last too long. This part of the house anyways, look at it, it's caving in so bad. But let's work our way over here and get out of harm's way with that. It looks like here's a little TV stand hidden in the corner over here with some speakers and whatnot. And it looks like they're watching VHS. Messianic signs. Looks like Looks like the office, somebody in the office, in the house. A lot of Polaroids left in there. Nice leather couch. Another one to match over here. I wonder who these people were. It's like some very old portraits. Maybe this was uh, past relatives or something like that. But this is the secondary living room like I showed you guys, I told you guys about. So this is probably your more um, family room. This is where people would have actually hung out. And then the other one would have been more formal and things like that because the the organ and the nicer furniture and whatnot. But check this out. Right over here, we have a whole record player. I actually hold CDs and whatnot. Then you got all the records still down here. On both sides. It's a really cool record player too. 
I have one similar to this in my house. Really cool to see those, find those in places. So now we're gonna move on to arguably one of the coolest places, the coolest rooms in this house that I've seen so far, the dining room. As we walk into the dining room, you guys can already tell, this is super fancy, really nice stuff. I mean, it's all set. All the plates are here, the cups, the silverware, not very much silverware, but some there. I just love to see dining rooms like this. They look so fancy. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chairs. I wonder how much they used the dining room. Probably, I mean, I would say a lot. It was just a family of four. The sons had grandchildren and whatnot, so for the, the owners and stuff. Of course, you would need a bigger table to fit the whole family. Look at this china cabinet. Still full of all the glasses. Not all of them, I guess, because some of them are gone. This is what this looks like. One thing I do love about this is look at all these chairs here. This is pretty cool, guys. There's even another cabinet of, uh, of china and stuff here. And the cabinetry itself is beautiful, but you can see this glass is like curved. Never seen curved glass like that. But safe to say, guys, this is a beautiful dining room. Love to see stuff like this. But when it comes to the dining room, I mean, it's not much to show you guys to make this room a very long part of the video, but just love showing you guys what's left. You guys get the gist of this room. It's gorgeous. All right, so now it's time to move along and we're gonna stay on the bottom floor first and we're gonna go ahead to the master bedroom and see what's left in there. And then we're gonna go upstairs and everything's gonna be a surprise up there for me too. So guys, I'm excited to show you. Let's go check it out and let's see what's left in the master. All right guys, now we're walking down the hallway heading to the master bedroom. And there's a, there's a bathroom right here and it looks like a closet or something. But in this hallway, we've got all this, all these books and things like that. Hats, magazines, pamphlets, reasons, do-it-yourself encyclopedia. See what kind of books they got. Advertising, how I made a million dollars in mail order, the magic power of emotional appeal, real estate financing manual. Pretty cool stuff. Then you come right here into the bathroom. And I mean, it's pretty nice. The wallpaper is like this shiny um, silver wallpaper. And there's six of these mocha frappuccinos in here. And like, I get it, because I love these things too. I drink these all the time. Me and my girlfriend, we drink them all the time. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's nice. I don't like mocha though. My favorite one right now, this is so off topic of everything, of abandonment, but my favorite one of these Starbucks drinks right now is the white chocolate mocha. God, so good. Or the caramel, I can't go wrong with it. But let's leave the bathroom now. There's not much to see in it, as you can tell. It's pretty neat either way, but let's go to the master bedroom, so. We come back here and you get this big room. We have a couch similar to the one that's in the secondary living room right here. Pretty neat to say the least. They got boxes of stuff, hats. I'm gonna show you the closets first because it's uh, these two big walk-in closets. And this reminds me a lot of my grandparents' closet because it was like this. We got all these suits and jackets, everything like that. We got some wrapping paper in the back there. It's surprising that I haven't seen a gun in this house, but with it being ran through the way it is, maybe the gun was taken. You just typically think that in the South there's going to be a weapon of some sort. The closet is still full of all of this stuff. So here's the other side of the closet. This looks like her stuff now, but there's more flannels, all that sitting back here. More the same jackets and whatnot. Got stuff up top. There's a box of something. There's all these letters and whatnot. Who knows what's all that up there? Never know what you could find in a place like this. 
But as we look around, look in this box, we got a bunch of CDs, little players and speakers and whatnot. These boxes, but we're gonna go around the other way. Bunch of really neat stuff in here, guys. I'm like really excited to show you guys this. But check out the master bed. This is a king size bed. With some nice furniture in here. You see this couch is also in the living room too. Another one of these. So maybe it was also in here at some point. Let's come over here to the dresser. Olympus, it's a camera battery thing. Some gloves. Full of ties and whatnot. So we're gonna come to the bedside. There's spider webs I'm walking through, literally to show you guys this. But check it out. You have this nice four post bed. Looks like the bed itself is too big for the frame, but you know, probably slept more in the middle. And one of these comfortable, oh, this is a heated blanket. So maybe they had some back problems or something. Got the heated blanket on there. Hot melt patches. Yeah, definitely had some, some like back issues of some sort. More patches down here. Socks. Yeah, definitely was uh, definitely was in pain. Probably in the back. That's why you sleep with those. There's a chest over here though. Mm, nothing in it. There's a couple of knives, but that's it. And this is their main dresser. This is the inside of the living room. As you can see, there's that couch that we saw. Looks so different. This is on the fireplace. Look at this. Sewing machine. We got a singer sewing machine. Those are those are awesome. I love seeing these. Now sometimes guys. Sometimes they'll hide guns under the bed. So I'm gonna try to take a look underneath the bed and see what's left in there. I don't really know. I don't see anything under there. You guys never know until you look. But that is the master bedroom. Safe to say it's pretty large and they have all the windows covered up with some metal sheets. So it is dark in here. We're in this big old mansion. Now it's time that we head upstairs and we see what's left up there. I'm in for a surprise, you guys are in for a surprise. So let's go see it, let's check it out. Hope you guys are enjoying thus far. If you are, hit that subscribe button. Check out all my friends down below. And let's head upstairs and let's see what's left. It looks like it's cool, but this is like the first time I'm seeing it. Y'all have already seen all these, I ain't seen this yet. So, looks like there's one, two, three, four, five rooms up here. Yeah, this room over here. It's pretty good. All right. The, then, that one in the corner? Yeah, and then in there is pretty good too. Get a whole view downstairs, see the crew. God, this place is cool. <laughs> All right, wait, I missed this room right over here. This was like a kid's room or something? Yeah, that actually goes outside too, which is funny. Oh, roof access? <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. I wouldn't trust my kids with that though. What is my cat thinking? <laughs> So this is some sort of bedroom. It's been kind of cleared out. There's nothing really in here. Maybe this could have been like a grandkid's bedroom. Somebody has graffitied in here a little bit, but you can see the dog toys. Looks like they did have a cat at some point in time, but they did clear out this room mostly over here. We got some bras, some belts, whatnot. This looks like a girl's room. Now that I'm looking at it a little more. Old sink here, August of 2019. So 2019, 2020, this place was lived in and now it sits completely abandoned. 
So this is like the bathroom, but it's carpeted bathroom, which is weird at the same time. You know, you're not used to seeing that too much. 70s house is a little bit more, but looks like we got our shower and our toilet here. Nice little walk-in shower. This is the closet. And it looks like it's probably a shared closet, I wanna say, because it goes through this door too. And it's quite large, so definitely a shared closet, I wanna say. Um, you got all these hangers still here. You've got all this. This is such a cool place. I wonder what's like left back in here. There's boots back there. Still got some shoes left behind. And more of the girl clothes on this side. Look at this, Istanbul. I wonder if they went to Istanbul. That's where I got all these tattoos done. Guys, this is in Istanbul. And then they also had a washer and dryer up here. So I wonder, this is like the, probably their laundry room. Kind of a mess though. Look at this map, historical map of England and Wales. This is like a cloth. I feel like they were travelers. Definitely feel like they were travelers. So this is like just a huge closet that's shared with everybody. It could have been a bedroom. I don't know. <laughs> it's strange. But maybe they built it like this for a reason. Pretty sweet though. We're going to come out. This solar panel thing, that's what he was saying, was turned on. I wonder what that's used for. Never seen a, something like that before. This room was more of the library of the room, or of the, of the house, so they had all the books and stuff stored up here. You can see all these books here. Wow, look, and I think they did go to Turkey. I think they did go to Turkey. They were travelers for sure. Honestly, they probably wanted to travel before doomsday to get to see everything that they wanted to see in life before it happened, which makes sense. And also they had the money to do it because they're rich having all this, this huge house here. I'm so happy I get to show you guys this place. We have been doing some really good spots this trip. And uh, this is by far one of my favorites of this whole trip. It's the biggest one so far too. So yeah, I'm loving this. All these books in here, not typical you see a library in places, but we have seen it before. Now we're gonna look at a little bit more at this shelf in here. We're gonna move on to the bedrooms and see what's left until we get out of here. But you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned because we're going down to the Doomsday Room, which is all the way in the basement. So let's go check it out. But let's check out what's right here first and these are the bedrooms. We got way more books here. We got some trophies. It looks like they kept more of the, cause this is some like Europe stuff. It looks like they kept more of the Doomsday stuff in the office downstairs. It looks like this is writing about a book or something. And you got family photos and stuff down there. Lots of really neat things. So let's check out over here. We got a bedroom we're coming into. Oh wow, check that out. This was definitely a kid's room. As you can tell, look, the comforter is Betty Boop, which I have not seen that ever. And then there's a teddy bear here and obviously there's a crib, and is that Blue's Clues, I think? I think that's Blue's Clues, and more Betty Boop. And look at this. This is also in the house. This looks like it's in that, uh, this is in that family room. And maybe that's the child that was staying in this bed, but who knows? I don't really know how everything was done. Closet, full of clothes, full of really nice clothes too, at that. A lot of stuff jammed up in here too. I mean, guys, this is just the second bedroom we're seeing. I mean, third technically, but there's no bed frame for this bed, but it's still here and it's made. It's got some clothes on it. Really cool to see that stuff. And it looks like this is the kind of house where every room is kind of connected to each other. Check it out, this trophy is from 1989. This door has more access to the roof. So I wonder if like, I mean, this was definitely like some sort of shared room. I'm gonna walk through here though. We're gonna see what's in here. They got a map of the world. Oh, I got the comforters on here. And then they have this little section of the, of the closet, which we're kind of stepping on everything to get in here. But I wanna show you guys what's left. We have some dog toys, some bows. Here's the thing of France. And you guys know we've been to France. You guys have 
come along on the adventures to France before. But the fact that they didn't want this house is, blows my mind. Wow, look at the wallpaper in here. I've never seen this. What the heck? There's even another section, so this is probably another shared closet to this bedroom. They were really smart kids. Look at this. This looks like a camera bag, but there's nothing in it. Then you got shoes down here, boxes of papers, basketball trophies. Now we're gonna head out of the closet and into our next bedroom, which doesn't look like anything's really left in this one much. So check it out. I'm not gonna stay in here too long because I wanna show you guys the basement and all that crazy stuff down there. Let's check out, it's in these closets at least. Got some books, The Destroyer, a bunch of different copies of The Destroyer. Yeah, just not much going on with this bedroom up here, but you know, now guys, we're gonna go down and we're gonna see the basement and the doomsday stuff. You guys are not gonna wanna miss this. This is crazy. They have like 10 of everything down there. And uh, you guys are gonna see that he was a jack of all trades because there's car parts, there's stuff to build anything. And it's just like, it's cool. So I can't wait to just take you guys down there. Roll the montage of this cool house and then I'll see you guys in the basement. All right guys, time to head down to the basement where the doomsday stuff is, so let's head on down. I'll lead the way. Golly, there's so much stuff down here. A little smell. Ah. Stinks down here. There's so much to see. So he's gonna have like flat washers. Everything is like labeled down here too. Phillips screws. All that stuff. He's got parts for everything. Spider webs. Oh my gosh. Look at all this. Need any screws? You got thousands right here. Thousands and thousands of stuff. I mean, it goes all the way down here. There's basically two basements. There's this one that we're in right now, and then there's the Doomsday one, which is a little bit further, which is packed full of foods, non-perishables, and stuff like that. But I'm gonna show you this part of the basement first. Then we're gonna head down there. It's really dark and smelly, so we're gonna try to get through this. I'm gonna show as much as I can, but I had, don't have a mask, so. Just stacks and stacks of stuff. Beds. Cabinet. Like, what were they storing down here? There's even a bed down here. Stinks so bad. What is this? Ew. Stinks really bad. It's a lot of chemicals and whatnot throughout the place. Check this out. Concrete stain, wood stain, oils, all different kinds of oils. Like I said, guys, there's so many tools down here. Oil, spilt oil right there. Oh my gosh, it stinks so bad. Car parts, this is all car parts right in here. Feels creepy down here. I don't even know where everybody else went. I think they went to the other basement. I'm in here alone now, scared. <laughs> creepy, super creepy. Okay, we're back to this little shop area. So we're gonna go to this side. 
I gotta find these stairs. Yeah. Yo, where all that? Come around there. So basically, the smell's gonna hit me in the face. Uh, it just gradually gets worse as you come down. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm probably just tripping, but because it's not nearly as bad as it was. This is the doomsday part. Yeah, there's just a bunch more stuff like upstairs. Yeah, oh my gosh. I don't smell anything bad too yet. Not really bad yet. Yeah, check it out. Bushes baked beans. Looks like minced garlic, popcorn, salads. Got a bunch of this. What is this, Concord grape stuff? There's a crib down here. Little creepy one, two, three crib. What else is over here? Well, it looked like this part would have been covered up by wood where you couldn't really tell it was down here. There's even stuff stuffed up there. It makes you wonder if there's a part on this property that goes down like a bunker. Honestly, there probably is. That's like... Imagine. I did not think of that. Self-treating homeschool. Look at this. This is a little shaver. Is that what that is? Yeah. Looks like a radio, but it's a shaver. Still more parts down here. There's parts for everything. There's wheels over there, like for shopping carts. Is there? Yeah. There's a bunch of light stuff here. Doorknobs? Yeah, and he has like a million more on that other shelf. His old pitchfork, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Stabbing the foot. Old tools down here. Look at all these boxes. What is the tab on them? Oh, they got switches on them. They do have switches on them. What are they for? Does it feel like it's got stuff in it? Why does it say on all? It does. Hold on. We need to open this. What? I don't know what this is. Is he making bombs? I'm not going to hit the on switch. I know that. Yo, what the f What is it? Is this guy making bombs? It looks like lunch boxes, but it has a toggle switch and a red button, and then you open it. What was this guy making? And he has them in bulk, too. What? Dude, is this ammo? If this dude wasn't a prepper, I don't know. Yo, yeah, check in there. That's an ammo cartridge. Yeah, he has a bunch of ammo. There's one. There's like a bunch right here. I don't think there's ammo in that one, but there might be. <laughs> dude, what if that's bombs? Like, what if he's making bombs? Like, <laughs> Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. I'm honestly kind of freaked out because with how he plans stuff, I wouldn't be surprised if it was booby trapped in here. Look, Holy that's got a wire running to it. I didn't realize that there's tons of them. Yeah, and they have <laughs> switches and buttons. That's creepy, dude. <laughs> Imagine like one just blows up right now. <laughs> well, that's the end of us. We're standing <laughs> face level with it. <laughs> Is this a giant turbo? That's crazy. I did not expect that when you opened you it. You want to try to get by here? Yeah. Put that one. Look, here's ammo boxes Yeah. back here. Surprised he doesn't have a gun safe down here. There could be a hidden one. There's more ammo boxes. What are these silver balls here? Silver balls? Yeah. I don't even want to know what those are. Oh, I see them. <laughs> Wait, what? Whoa, 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 dude. What happened? Something's pouring out of them. What? Yo, what if they're like grenades? Oh. Dude, those might be some kind of explosive. They have stuff in them. This feels like it would be an explosive. With the way this guy is? The way this whole shelf is with the ammo. And the chemical smell too. Look, there's even big ones too. That is strange. I wonder if that has to do with the chemical... Uh... It's a little scary though that they're all over the place. There, it's definitely homemade because like... It's like a lunchbox. Yeah. Not what I expected. Now guys, I don't know if that's what we're thinking it is. If you guys know, if you guys have seen anything like this, comment down below what you think it is. This place is really strange and with the way this guy was, it, does, it wouldn't surprise me if there was some sort of explosive or homemade things, especially for doomsday prepping. So if you guys have any ideas, comment down below what you think.